Wow. A lively crowd this morning. It is Monday and it's raining outside. <clears throat> you guys get pepped up with a whole variety of things, apparently. Well, there's good reason to be excited in this room today. So we are here for yet another big announcement, or maybe two, um, of exciting news surrounding Gannon University's Institute for Health and Cyber Knowledge, so the IHEC uh, adventure. So I want to thank you all for being here with us today. It is great to see members of the Gannon community, members of our Board of Trustees, representatives from our federal and state government offices that have been so supportive, um, as well as uh, county and city elected officials. We have community leaders here with us and many from our partnering agencies. All of you are working diligently to help support our good work and support the work of our faculty and administration in reaching our goals. So here we are again in Old Maine, just shy of a year ago. Last November, we were announcing Gannon's venture into cyber education and development with a new uh, set of academic programs in cybersecurity and cyber engineering and the launch of our IHAC initiative. Since that exciting start, our faculty, staff, and administration have been doing tremendous work in bringing that vision to fruition. Our Gannon and Erie communities and in institutional partners have since joined us and demonstrating their support. Over the summer, we've had exciting opportunities and good fortune to share the news on the development of IHAC through several grant awards. The first being more than a $400,000 boost from the Herzl Foundation by way of the Lake Erie Research Institute to create a supercomputing facility in Erie that will serve academic, healthcare, and environmental researchers across the region with data storage, data processing, and data analysis. The second, with the support of many of our local officials and DCED, uh, is a $2 million grant as part of the state's Redevelopment Assistant Capital Program. With this, Gannon will uh, transform floors in Knight Tower, building to suit industry commercial space currently unavailable and essential to our ability to recruit and support cyber businesses in Erie. We are especially inspired by the new businesses, the new jobs, and the workforce development opportunities this will bring to our region. The excitement and the eagerness to get involved in this forward-thinking initiative is building, and it's building in tangible ways within our Gannett community, our alumni, and our Board of Trustees, some of whom are stepping forward as catalysts and early movers with their support of this venture showing the entrepreneurial spirit of our Gannon graduates and our successful Gannon Golden Knights. I'm pleased to be here with you today to announce additional examples of their leadership support and express our unwavering gratitude for their generosity. Two weeks ago, we announced a $100,000 gift to an alumna, Stacy Jukno, and she is a trustee of the board, and we had plans to leverage that gift to build a fund to $400,000. Her and her husband's generosity have already garnered the attention and passion of an additional anonymous donor that just came forward this past Friday. That fund is growing to $250,000, an endowed fund that the university has matched to establish a $500,000. Yukno Cyber Innovation Fund to assist with faculty recruitment, faculty and student research, and industry-focused innovation. The university, therefore, will launch a $1 million matching campaign to drive one-of-a-kind industry academic innovation in downtown Erie. That is not a bad few weeks of magic, transforming $100,000 into a $1 million. So that is a great <laughs> Last week was a good week. If that isn't enough good news for a week, we have more incredible news and fuel for this trans, uh, tremendous momentum. You may have noticed that we haven't unveiled the board here yet. The big news we are here today to share is the announcement of our third private donation this month toward the development of Gannon's IHAC. Another Gannon alum and trustee and his family 
have helped build Erie for decades. And I'm going to let him tell you about that soon. During an early morning breakfast, he shared his plans and truly made a Saturday meal I will never forget. I am humbled by his generosity and honored to serve Arganon University and our Erie community alongside this true gentleman and servant leader. So without further ado, we announce today a $1 million donation by Mr. Pierre McCormick to establish the Pierre McCormick Cyber Learning Center that will serve as the academic heart of Gannon's IHAC. Pierre's gift today reflects his confidence in our university. It will accelerate the development of our cyber programs and IHAC as critical assets in Erie's economic ecosystem. We are sincerely grateful for his contributions to this community and to Gannon University that will assure that the McCormick family legacy will influence yet another generation of Gannon Golden Knights in Erie and beyond. Pierre is joining us virtually today with a video to share why he felt called to support this initiative that will provide high quality educational opportunities for students within IHAC and cultivate powerful industry partnerships for economic growth in downtown. I'm very happy today to announce a gift from my family to Gannon University. Um, I want to talk about a couple of different things. First, uh, my family, the McCormick family, has been in Erie for over 100 years. My grandfather uh, paved one of the first roads from the city of Erie into Mill Creek. I have cousins who have been in the beer business for over 85 years. Uh, we've been part of this community for a long time. I'm especially today feeling gratitude and blessed for my wife Kathy and friends and family who have supported me in all of my efforts and initiatives. Um, so I feel very blessed to, to, to be presenting this gift today. And I've been especially impressed with being on the board at Cannon with the leadership of Dr. Taylor and his senior management, the staff, the faculty, and the students at Cannon, who really, the mission of Cannon is to transform lives. And that is very clear in the day-to-day -day endeavors of Gannon and all the work they're doing. Through the strategic planning process, Gannon has really identified some significant opportunities to create an environment where they can survive and grow and be part of a changing environment. We developed a campus in Ruskin that has been extremely successful. And most recently, the IHAC and the Cybersecurity Initiative is absolutely critical to the future of Gannon and equally as important, critical to the future of Erie, Pennsylvania. The city, as everybody knows, is starting to um, transition from a city of what it was to a city of what it might be. And I believe that this IHAC initiative is really a call to action for myself and other people in the community to get behind the initiatives of the primary assets in, in Erie which are focused on transforming their own businesses and transforming the city. So I'm especially pleased today to be part of this initiative, and it's my own personal and my own family's call to action to help Gannon in meeting this initiative. And I'm very confident that this kind of work will create a new ecosystem for the city of Erie, and this is really the foundation and the basis of the future of our city. So thank you. We have a tremendous board of trustees and Pierre is one of the members that really has been driving the initiatives as he said. We're moving in the right direction as a university. We have record enrollments, the biggest enrollment since 1990. We're bringing in huge freshman classes biggest freshman classes since 1983. We have momentum in IHAC, we've got momentum in Florida, 
at our Ruskin campus. It is an exceptional time to be part of this Gannon family, and it is a privilege to be part of this Gannon family. The momentum that Gannon is building, I think, is helping Erie, and the momentum that's building in Erie is helping Gannon. We are in this together. We are part of this community. We are a part of this downtown Erie, and we are proud and privileged to do our part every day to try and move our institution forward and this community forward for the good of the people in this community, our students, our neighbors, all of us that work and play and enjoy our time here in downtown Erie. So Pierre's a wonderful man. Um, we will call on him to come back for the grand opening of the Pierre McCormick Cyber Learning Center and have an opportunity to thank him in person as a community for this generous contribution as we launch this transformational initiative for our students and our region next fall. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Walter Iwanenko, Gannon's Vice President for Academic Affairs, to join me uh, at the podium and to share uh, what this educational space will soon become. Walter? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Pierre, and thank you, Dr. Taylor. Your visionary leadership and support in this endeavor has motivated and inspired our faculty, our students, myself, and all of those around you. Pierre is not just thinking about the future. He's acting on it. His gift will truly transform the lives of students and will inspire transformation in Erie and Gannon University. The Pierre McCormick Cyber Learning Center will rival top learning facilities across the country. Located on the second floor within IHAC, at Gannon's Knights Tower, it will house the academic infrastructure to deliver Gannon's new degrees in cyber engineering and cybersecurity. The center will include faculty offices and classrooms, as well as the cyber hacking lab, a cyber defense lab, the Internet of Things labs, and open, collaborative, innovative spaces. This space will fuse together academic learning and technology, workforce development across the fields of engineering, healthcare, computer-based applications, business management, and criminal justice focused on cyber defense. Here, students will learn and work on the types of projects and research that will create positive change and impact our ever-evolving digital society. They will be involved in projects alongside faculty and businesses on a variety of cyber-related topics, including developing intelligent autonomous vehicles, intelligent health monitoring devices and smart sensors, as well as securing data storage and communications through advanced applications and intelligent systems design. Gifts like Pierre McCormick's will help deliver on Gannon's commitment to provide accessible, high-quality education to our students. His generous support demonstrates his understanding of how IHAC contributes to the local economy by creating a dynamic space to live, work, play and learn, and how this facility will foster entrepreneurship, developing current businesses while attracting new businesses and exceptional talent to the Erie region. We look forward and we are thrilled to begin demolition and initial work on this facility in the upcoming weeks that will bring the vision for cyber education and development to life. Thank you again to Pierre McCormick, to all you are doing for Gannon, and for joining us here this morning for this excitement, exciting announcement. This concludes our press conference. We welcome the media to join us for interviews and questions at the front of the room at this time. Thank you everybody for being here this morning. <laughs>